guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa and today is day four of my 12 days of Christmas holiday giveaway. So not only is today's video going to be, of course, part of the 12 days of Christmas series here on my channel, but it is also going to be the first video in a new series on my channel that is going to be called Vegan Myths. Many of you know the past few months I've transitioned to a more plant-based diet and it's been fantastic. Especially this time of year around the holidays when you are getting together with family and friends that maybe you don't see all the time and you're going to parties or potlucks at work and your friends and family notice that you're not eating specific foods, they might say, oh my gosh, this pot roast is so good, why aren't you eating any of it? Or, wow, this turkey sure is juicy, wanna take a bite? When I tell them, no thank you, I'm vegan, I don't eat that, there are usually many questions that I'm asked once I make it aware that I am vegan and I've narrowed it down to the top five annoying questions. So here are some vegan myths. One question that is asked is, is it hard to be vegan? It can be difficult. I had to think of it as my whole entire life, I was raised on a non-vegan diet. If you don't focus on finding alternatives or finding substitutes, for the main things you enjoy in your life. So what I did was I wrote down like my three favorite foods, three things that I really enjoy eating. So what I did was I just found some vegan alternatives, which is not really hard to do. I incorporated other plant-based items into my diet and bada boom, bada bing, vegan. Another question that I get asked is, why are you vegan? Well, aside from the fact that I think it's unnecessary to slaughter innocent, helpless animals, and that I would prefer my food choices to leave the smallest carbon footprint on the environment as possible, and that, hey, I just wanna eat shit that's gonna make me healthy. I really can't think of a reason why I'm vegan. So another annoying question is, well, don't you just get tired of eating salads and tofu all day? Well, shit, if I ate only salads and tofu all day long every day, yeah, I would get tired of it. But wonderful news, vegans don't eat salad and tofu every day. Now, if, if that's what you eat, if you eat salads and tofu every single day and you like it, then hey, more power to you. Do you, boo, do what works for you. I eat tons of different foods. So another question is, well, what do you eat? I eat anything without a face, basically. So that includes fruits and vegetables, beans, nuts, tofu, legumes, meat substitutes, which I will say, I thought I would have a really hard time switching from regular milk to almond milk or cashew milk or soy milk. And honestly, I think I prefer the taste of those plant-based milks versus traditional dairy milk or cow's milk. And this is probably the most asked question that I get when someone finds out that I'm vegan. You ready for it? I know you know what it is. It's, how do you get your protein? Well, I get my protein from the same place your protein gets its protein. Get it? People forget that beans and grains and vegetables all have protein in it. Meat products are not the only protein sources out there. So for example, you could take a cup of lentils and you could take a four ounce like porterhouse steak. The protein's gonna be pretty close. You'll have like 17 or 18 grams of protein in the lentils and you'll have like 20-ish in the porterhouse. That is pretty darn close, but one fun fact for you when comparing those two protein sources is that the porterhouse also has, you know, 20 to 25 grams of fat in it when lentils have zero. So, hashtag healthy living. Eating a more plant-based diet allows you to have more volume in each meal. A good example would be taking like 100 calories of steak or beef, which would have about, you know, six or seven grams of protein in it, versus if you were to take 100 calories of broccoli. 100 calories of broccoli is a big portion. That is a good sized portion of broccoli. And that there has like 10, you know, 10 to 12 grams of protein in it. So almost double than the 100 calories of steak that you'd be eating. So, there you go. There's five annoying ass questions that I'm sure, you know, I'm not the only one that gets asked this. Probably the majority of vegans do, even vegetarians. And hopefully I've been able to help debunk some of these myths. Let's get on to today's giveaway. 
So today's giveaway is a Recollections 12 month spiral planner and it is a horizontal weekly layout. It has 190 pages and it has 84 stickers. It includes monthly and weekly calendar pages, divider pages, and stickers. If you'd like to win this, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, make sure that you like this video, drop a comment below this video and let me know the best way to get a hold of you, whether that would be on Instagram or your email. And then last but not least, make sure that you're following me on Instagram at Melissa Jane Fit. That's it, pretty simple. You can get yourself this planner and stay organized and shit. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time for day five of the giveaway. See you then.